and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com. And this time out, we're going to talk about SharePoint. Uh, we talk about SharePoint again. So I had a question here on this particular video, how to add SharePoint calendar overlays. And uh, Hovea Chan, I, I believe you pronounced that, he's wondering uh, how to rename, add, or remove columns in a calendar. So we're going to take a look at that today. So let's get into our calendar. I'll go into my sandbox, bring up your... Um, SharePoint site. I'm sure you know how to do that. So let's get into Sandbox. You going to open or not there, buddy? All right. We'll wait for this little gear to load up. Da -da -da. Bo -bo 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 -bo. We'll go into contents. All right. Here's our calendars right here. So these are the calendars I used for this particular video for uh, to show you how to do overlays. So let's just go to, let's go to the comic book convention calendar. So let me just, yeah, see, I wanted to open it in another. That's okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So this is basically what this looks like. So if you want to add a particular event, so there you go. Here's all your options. And I'm going to show you how to get into those particular options, add options. Um, if you would like, come on now, Don't give me a hard time. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's copy this. Let's go here and copy that there. All right. And we'll go back to this calendar and then we'll go. All right. So we're here. We're going to go to these little three dots right here. And we are going to hit on settings. And then what we're going to see over here is our different columns. So if we want to create a column, let's start with that to create a column. All right, so let's create a column and let's just call it test. And then these are, of course, are your various options. They're they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll, I'll decide if I want to go through each one. Description, um, this is a test, I guess. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. If case of a real emergency, okay, so add to all content types, add to defaults, view, um, enforce unique values, require that this column contains information. All right, let's do that. Um, column formatting, we're not going to deal with any type of JSON or formatting at this point. Uh, I can do a JSON. Maybe I will do a JSON uh, tutorial in the future. I do not write JSON, but I know where to go and get it and how to manipulate it. Um, like most of the women that I date, <laughs> I know where to go get them and I know how to manipulate them. No, I'm totally joking. Okay. So um, where's our test? So there's our test right here. All right. And then we're going to go here where I'm just going to refresh. I don't know if I necessarily need to do that. And we'll go to add. And then here we go. All right, there's our test column, and we can add right there. All right, and put in pretty much whatever you want. You can do a choice. Do you want to do a choice? So let's do a choice. Um, let's do choice. Let's call this test two. And description, this is test two. All right, this is going to be a required field. All right, so we're going to enter our choices. So let's just do something simple. Let's go red, blue, yellow, something like that. Oops, sorry. Do, do, do. Okay, like I said, required field. Um, drop down, we'll do drop down menu. Fill in choice, allow fill in choice, defaults choice. Default choice is, okay, that's fine. So it will start at that default. Um, again, no JSON, but we'll, we'll fart around with that maybe at a later time. All right, so let's hit okay. So our column is gonna be created. Let's go here and we'll look for test two. There's test two, it's a choice. All right, and then let's go into our calendar. Let's refresh. Let's go add. All right, so there's our choice, and there's our drop down for our choice. 
All right, so that's how to add items to your calendar. So let's get rid of some items. Let's get rid of those two test items. All right, so let's talk about deleting this stuff. Let's let's just delete our test uh, one. So we'll just go into test one. And so there you go. It's very simple. We're going to delete. All right, get that out of there. And then we'll go into test two. And yeah, we're just going to delete. All right, that's fine. All right, so if we go back here and refresh and add. So you'll see our two tests are gone. So we can even go farther. Let's um, let's fart around with one. Let me look at this real quick. Title. Um, let's go start time. Do, 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 start time. So let's fart around with start time. See, it says date and time. Um, so that looks like it's uh, a default. Um, it doesn't look like there's any delete here. So, but you can rename it, you can put it in the description, and then JSON, um, we'll get into that in another video. So cool. What can put like cool time? <laughs> we'll hit OK. And then we'll just refresh and then cool time. We'll go into one more. So here's category that's already on there. That's that's put in there by default. So if we go, say, into category, we want to change our category. And again, that's a choice. Um, you can simply add categories. You can even delete this one. This is not a um, so. Let's just delete that off this calendar. And then if we go here, it's not a default. That's what I was trying to think of. It's not a default um, like the other one is. So if we add, there's not even a choice there. So that's basically how you do that. That is how you do that, not basically. And um, if you have any questions beyond that, certainly let me know. If you have any questions um, at all, let me know. Um, I'm always looking for reasons to make a video. I don't particularly know. Particularly know. <laughs> I don't particularly know what to make them on all the time because I don't know what questions people would have. Um, so definitely let me know. I read all the comments. Uh, send um, any type of uh, questions to contact at mymediahelper.com and I'm I'm open to make any video that you that you need to to be made if I don't know the answer I'll go learn it and make a video of it I love the challenge. Okay, gals and guys, I hope this helped you out a lot. I'm being long-winded as always at the end because that's just who I am. I appreciate you as always. Please subscribe. Um, trying to grow this channel, obviously. I would love to do this for a living. That would be awesome, but obviously I, I don't have enough subscribers at this point. Um, please like if you like this video. Please share for any uh, SharePoint aficionados out there. Hit that little bell for updates, and uh, I'll catch you next video. More than ever, dynamic, impactful content is critical to the modern workplace. Introducing SharePoint Spaces, letting anyone create mixed reality experiences where data, documents, and files can be seen in immersive environments from any device. Create custom spaces where you can visualize and manipulate data in real time. Discover and interact with objects in three dimensions. Explore company knowledge, making onboarding more engaging, and experience vibrant, expansive 3D environments right at your desk. 
SharePoint Spaces lets anyone experience content in new and exciting ways, empowering us all to achieve even more.